Time now for our next contest. It'll be in the middleweight division between Zurab Kvitsiani and David Nikolaev. We'll send it down to the center of the ring for the fighter introductions. Красный угол ринга, бактеру 26 лет, рост 180 сантиметров, вес 72 килограмма 600 граммов. Провел 8 боев, одержал в них 7 побед, 2 из которых нокаутом, и потерпел всего лишь одно поражение. Из Санкт-Петербурга Зура Квицани! Рефери в ринге Андрей Курнявка. Первый раунд. So we are underway here. Middleweight action between Zarab Kvitsiani in the red and white trunks and David Nikolaev in the black trunks trimmed with red. You heard the ovation for uh, Kvitsiani, better known as Zuzia. Now he's a close friend of uh, Dmitry Bivol. He's also close friends with uh, Ramil Shadaev, who's a member of the uh, Moscow Dynamo Soccer Club. A very uh, likable and popular fighter who enters this contest with a record of 7-1. and one. Two of those wins coming by way of knockout. Nikolaev, his opponent, 31-year-old with a record of 9-7-1. Five wins coming by way of knockout. Viziani, also a uh, training and sparring partner of uh, Dmitry Bivol. And he says he likes to you know, model his style a little bit after Dmitry Bivol, and that's not a, a bad idol to have. One of the most technically proficient and defensively sound fighters in the game right now, one of the light heavyweight title holders. left hook there from Nikolaev. Nikolaev has never been stopped. He's never been knocked down. He's also never beaten a fighter with a winning record. So he's trying to change that here tonight as Viziani briefly changes stances. See him do that every once in a while. Good body shot from Viziani. Viziani, very much a, a boxer, a stylist. He's uh, defensively conscious. Only two knockouts on his ledger so far, but coming out a little more aggressively than we've seen him in the past. We'll see if he can keep that strategy up if he wants to in uh, the second round.
Round two of this eight-round middleweight contest between Kvitsiani and Nikolaev. Kvitsiani, the uh, switch hitter who grew up in Cabardino, Balcaria, near the highest mountain in Europe, Mount Elbrus. And he said that growing up where, where he's from, Everyone knew how to ski, everyone knew how to skate, but not too many people there knew how to fight, knew how to stand up for themselves. So when it was time to choose a sport when he was young, instead of hockey, instead of skiing, he went a different direction, found his way into the boxing gym. And he really is a, a lifelong student of the game. Says his main hobby is just uh, reading about boxing history, watching boxing documentaries. Good hard shots there from Viziani. Nikolaev holding his ground well. Nikolaev is also a kickboxer and a Muay Thai fighter. He's had some success on the national circuit where he won the uh, Moscow Muay Thai Cup back in 2011, and he has three wins in K1-style kickboxing as well. Nikolaev takes a, a very scientific approach to the sport, to athletics, understandably so. He graduated with a degree in kinesiology back in 2016. A sneaky body shot there from Nikolaev. As Kvitsiani was just kind of measuring him, Nikolaev just took the opportunity to slam him to the body. Viziani gets it back with a left hook downstairs. Nikolaev feels like the sturdier fighter in here, but Viziani might have a few more tools, might be the quicker, more fluid operator in there. So a pretty interesting matchup here in the middleweight division. Round three between uh, Zarab Kvitsiani and uh, David Nikolaev. Nikolaev going back to the body where he had some success in round two. Nikolaev lost his first four pro fights and has battled his way back to uh, a record above 500. 9-7-1. Goliath says that he's been working specifically on his footwork over the last few months because, uh, as he admits, uh, jokingly in describing his style, he says his style is squaring up. He likes to come in straight in like that with a big overhand right. 
trying to add some more dimension to his game. And you know, oftentimes we will see in converted Muay Thai fighters, kickboxers like uh, David Nikolaev, you know, as they make that transition, the, the simplest thing that they know how to do is to keep their hands up and kind of parry everything. And as their careers advance, they'll become more fluid. Now, that's not everyone. You wouldn't say that about uh, a Vladimir Klitschko or a uh, uh, Caleb Plant, let's say, or a uh, uh, Chris Algieri. But the, uh, the cliche is that converted kickboxers can be kind of rudimentary in the boxing ring. And Nikolaev at least was uh, saying that about himself and trying to change that a little bit. And from what I had watched of Nikolaev before compared to what we're seeing here tonight, Nikolaev certainly seems like he's made some improvements. And he is giving Viziani, who is no doubt the favorite in this fight, a serious test. I think Nikolaev is probably getting the best of him here in this round. Viziani meets Nikolaev with a little scoop, half uppercut, half jab. Looks for it again. As the final 10 seconds tick down, Viziani now trying to make some adjustments after what was a pretty good round from the underdog, Nikolaev. David Nikolaev having his best round of the fight in round three. See if he can carry that momentum into round four here. But Viziani, man known as Zuzia, meets him with a body shot as this round began. Now Viziani trying to get back to movement, that fluidity that he likes to utilize. These exchanges in the pocket, he's kind of getting out-muscled, a, li a little outgunned at times. Good, hard body shot there from Kvitsiani. Threw that one uh, as if he wanted to say, no, I, I'm not outgunned at all. I've still got some power. fighting with a, a heavy heart. He recently lost his mother. He says he's fighting for her honor and to bring pride back to his town in uh, Capardino, Balcaria. Uppercut on the inside from Kvitsiani. In between fights in order to earn extra money and keep his career going. 
Viziani uh, works kind of as the uh, the Russian equivalent of uh, of an Uber driver. He's been sober his entire life. So as he describes it, he works as a, a sober driver for cash, driving people home from the bars and the nightclubs. And he also gives credit to Dmitry Bivol, who he says has financially assist him, assisted him excuse me, at different points during his life and career as well. Hard body shot there from Nikolaev after Viziani kind of lost his balance. He was almost up in the air after one of those shots. Viziani missed emphatically and lifted himself up off the canvas. And now, Nikolaev trying to capitalize after that hard body shot as we come to the end of round four. Round five underway, and you saw the footage in the corner, a little cut developed over the eye of Zurab Kvitsiani. Favorite in this bout, and the uh, pal of Dmitry Bivol. Getting a serious test from David Nikolaev. And uh, if you knew nothing about these fighters, I think, and you evaluated this matchup, you really know who is the A side here. This is not uh, one of those obvious A and B side matchups. No doubt Nikolaev was kind of a, uh, a chosen opponent as Kvitsiani is looking for his eighth pro win, but you really wouldn't know it by the way this fight has been going. Both fighters definitely having their moments. And Nikolaev has had his share of pretty substantial ones. He's landed a couple good overhand rights, some very good body shots. Now we see some blood on the face of Nikolaev as well. Physical fight here in the middleweight division between Kvitsiani and Nikolaev. And that right hand from Kvitsiani landed right around where that cut has opened up on the face of Nikolaev. And now the blood starting to stream down both men's faces. Well, intentional or not, some good matchmaking here and a really good right hand over the top from Kvitsiani. Nikolaev kind of losing focus there for a second, talking to the referee, and he eats a right hand just moments afterwards. The uh, chance from the crowd here at the USC Soviet Wings in Moscow. Rallying behind Zuzia, otherwise known as Zarab Kvitsiani. 20 seconds remaining here in round five. And a good counter shot from Kvitsiani, who's starting to find his rhythm. Looking a lot more confident here in the fifth round as he digs another body shot and connects on a right hand right before the bell.
Round six, this one scheduled for eight between Zarab Fiziani and David Nikolaev coming up a little bit later on here in our main event on the Salida Promotions YouTube channel. It is Nikolai Potapov, one of the top ranked Bantamweights in the world will be taking on Oscar Richard of Tanzania, who is a heavy underdog, but quite frankly is getting uh, the chance of a lifetime to take out a fighter of the caliber of uh, Potapov. I'm sure an unexpected opportunity for Richard and for Potapov an opportunity to stay busy and maybe look ahead towards some opportunities at a Bantamweight title as he is positioned quite well in three of the sanctioning bodies ranking systems. That'll be coming up a little bit later on, but right now it is a good one between Zarab Kvitsiani and David Nikolaev. Kvitsiani starting to take control of this fight. Looking a lot more fluid and confident in the sixth round. There were moments earlier in this fight when it seemed like just the, the physicality, the strength of Nikolaev was starting to bother him. But he has managed to make some adjustments. And start to get back to what he does best, which is use his legs, counter, Landed some big counter shots over the last two rounds. Less than a minute left to go in round six. It's Nikolaev. A couple of pity pat shots to the body. To load up another one of those big left hooks, perhaps. Good overhand right from Nikolaev, partially blocked by Kvitsiani. Good right hand response there from Kvitsiani as well. Counter uppercut, I thought that landed flush on the chin from Kvitsiani. That was an excellent shot from Zuzia. 10 seconds remaining in the sixth round, and that will be registered as a slip. Round seven, two to go here in our middleweight contest between Zarab Kvitsiani and David Nikolaev. In a, a pretty competitive fight for the vast majority of this one. Kvitsiani, I think, has started to take control of this one a little bit more. Or he did in the uh, fifth and sixth rounds. Although Nikolaev uh, pleading his case to the audience and to the judges after the sixth round, raising his hand. Fiziani operating more and more often out of a southpaw stance. You saw him throw a left hand to the body with Nikolaev along the ropes. Now, earlier in this fight, we thought that the, the cuts on the faces of both fighters 
would become an issue. They have not. They are very much under control. Some uh, great work, particularly from Kvitsiani's cut man, who you'll see in the corner of uh, a lot of Russian fighters. He's known as Hat and Beard. Very uh, on-the-nose description of how you might identify him. You'll we'll see him in the corner at the end of this round. Body shots there from Nikolaev, the converted kickboxer. Yeah, Nikolaev has never beaten a fighter with a winning record, looking to change that tonight against the 7 and 1 Viziani. A friend and training partner of light heavyweight champion Dmitry Bivol. Mitsiani's lone loss came to Ashot Papian, and it was a stoppage loss, a TKO loss back in 2018. A hard right hand to the body from Mitsiani. Goliath getting a little bit more vocal with his punches. You sense some desperation. Maybe fatigue starting to set in. He's trying to hustle his way. Put a couple rounds in the bank. Eighth and final round of what has been a uh, fun and competitive middleweight contest between Zerab Kvitsiani and uh, David Nikolaev. You'd have to imagine that Kvitsiani is ahead on the scorecards right now, although there was a time in the middle of this fight when it looked like the momentum was swinging in the favor of Nikolaev. The crowd here. Spectators allowed within the USC Soviet wings. Very much behind the popular Viziani. Viziani also got a shout out on social media uh, ahead of this fight from the heavyweight prospect, Vakadir Jalilov. One of the more interesting uh, heavyweight prospects right now. He's got a lot of famous friends who are uh, backing him in his boxing journey. trying to make a name for himself and work his way back after that early career loss in 2018. Tiani kind of using the perimeter of the ring here. He's got the posture of a fighter in the final round of a fight they believe they are up on the scorecards in. And 
in all likelihood, he is correct. It wasn't without some real friction in this one. It's a good little counter left hook from Nikolaev. Live has made Kvitsiani work every second of this fight as the seconds tick away the final 15 of this contest. You'd have to believe Nikolaev will need something big, a home run shot. If he wants to score his first win over a fighter with a winning record, but he turned in an admirable performance nonetheless. So it looks like we are ready with the decision. We'll find out if Zarab Kvitsiani can indeed improve to eight and one to the delight of this crowd here in Moscow. Let's send it down to the center of the ring. So Zarab Kvitsiani improves to eight and one, a tough competitive battle with a David Nikolaev, and much to the delight, as we mentioned, to the crowd here in USC Soviet Wings. A very popular fighter who, with that popularity, who knows, maybe he can work himself into some good opportunities later on in his career and uh, a great sign of camaraderie and sportsmanship between Kvitsiani and Nikolaev. Coming up next, it is Bakram John Fozilov, the amateur standout who will be taking on the journeyman Andrei Tomaschuk. <laughs> 